Today is Friday, October 7th, 2022. Welcome to today's Daily Prayers. Our theme this week is A Friend of Souls. Let us pray. Almighty God, you who are the source of our life, strength, and ministry, in your presence alone we find help, hope, and life. Send us from this hour as a healing reminder of your love to all whose lives we touch this day. We offer our prayers in the name of Christ. Amen. Our psalm reading this week is Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5 and 15 through 19. Let my whole being bless true life. Let everything inside me bless God's holy name. Let my whole being bless true life and never forget all God's good deeds. How God forgives all your sins, heals all your sickness, saves your life from the pit, crowns you with faithful love and compassion, and satisfies you with plenty of good things, so that your youth is made fresh like an eagle's. The days of a human life are like grass. They bloom like a wildflower. But when the wind blows through it, it's gone. Even the ground where it stood doesn't remember it. But true life's faithful love is from forever ago to forever from now, for those who honor God. And God's righteousness reaches to the grandchildren of those who keep God's covenant and remember to keep God's commands. True life has established God's throne in heaven, and God's kingdom rules over all. Our daily scripture is Hebrews 13, verses 1 through 21. Keep loving each other like family. Don't neglect to open up your home to guests, because by doing this, some have been hosts to angels without knowing it. Remember prisoners as if you were in prison with them and people who are mistreated as if you were in their place. Marriage must be honored in every respect, with no cheating on the relationship, because God will judge the sexually immoral person and the person who commits adultery. Your way of life should be free from the love of money, and you should be content with what you have. After all, God has said, I will never leave you or abandon you. This is why we can confidently say, true life is my helper, and I won't be afraid. What can people do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke God's word to you. Imitate their faith as you consider the way their lives turned out. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Don't be misled by the many strange teachings out there. It's a good thing for the heart to be strengthened by grace rather than by food. Food doesn't help those who live in this context. We have an altar, and those who serve as priests in the meeting tent don't have the right to eat from it. 
the blood of the animals is carried into the Holy of Holies by the high priest as an offering for sin, and their bodies are burned outside the camp. And so Jesus also suffered outside the city gate to make the people holy with his own blood. So now let's go to him outside the camp, bearing his shame. We don't have a permanent city here, but rather we are looking for the city that is still to come. So let's continually offer up a sacrifice of praise through him, which is the fruit from our lips that confess his name. Don't forget to do good and to share what you have, because God is pleased with these kinds of sacrifices. Rely on your leaders and defer to them because they watch over your whole being as people who are going to be held responsible for you. They need to be able to do this with pleasure and not with complaints about you, because that wouldn't help you. Pray for us. We're sure that we have a good conscience and we want to do the right thing in every way. I'm particularly asking you to do this so that I can be returned to you quickly. May the God of peace, who brought back the great shepherd of the sheep, our master Jesus, from the dead, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with every good thing to do God's will by developing in us what pleases God through Jesus Christ. To God be the glory forever and always. Amen. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Keep loving each other like family. Open up your home to guests. Be Christ in the world. That is our call as followers of Jesus. In what ways do you reach out beyond your immediate family to welcome others in the name of Christ? The author warns against strange teachings that go against the teachings of Christ. The church has been beset by such problems since the very beginning. Our goal must be to love as Jesus loved, to reach out to those on the margins, and to pursue the ways of God's kingdom. Are these your goals? If not, how can you reorient yourself to them? The author also reminds us that we cannot do this under our own power. We need the power of Christ through the Holy Spirit to work within us, enabling us to do far more than we can ever imagine or hope to do on our own. What do you do to connect to the Spirit 
who dwells within you. Our reading today comes from Spirituality for Ministry by Urban T. Holmes III. To be a spiritual friend, one must have detachment, discretion, and discernment with all that prepares for those gifts. Spiritual companionship is a gentle art, demanding a willingness to listen as if one had a third ear attuned to the inner self. It is neither psychotherapy, nor is it the sacrament of reconciliation. Sometimes one needs to confront, but far more often the best intervention of the spiritual guide is in parabolic language, <clears throat> nudging the friend into a new way of seeing. The journey belongs to the other, and that person's uniqueness must always be honored. The friend of the soul is an instrumental image. Such a person is not to be a buddy, but someone who listens, comforts, and supports. He or she serves as a hermeneut, which means that he or she is a means, not an end. It is important for me not to think too highly of myself in this relationship, but to stand in awe of what God is doing in the life of the other person. Often this requires me to get out of the way. When in ignorance I have nothing to say, I must Remain silent. Let us pray. God, lead us in the way of truth and life. Help us to be agents of your love, grace, and mercy. Guide us to pursue your justice and peace. We are your instruments in this world. Use us as you will. Empower us to love as you love. Keep us ever mindful of your special love for the poor and vulnerable, that we might join in the work you are doing to lift them up. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Empower us to give as you give. Grow within us a spirit of generosity that will spark a desire to share the blessings you bestow upon us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Empower us to work with you wherever you are at work. Give us strength, wisdom, courage, knowledge, and hospitality that we might help build up your kingdom in this world.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this benediction. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and in his grace gave us unfailing courage and a firm hope, encourage you and, strength <clears throat> and strengthen you to always do and say what is good. Go in peace.